Okay, let's head inside 1411 Tibbs. Three bedroom, one bath property here. Pretty much turnkey. You might wanna clean up some things here and there. You certainly could put some new carpeting down um, in the bedrooms, um, but it's newer vinyl flooring in the main living areas. Um, there's no real structural issues. Um, no, very, very few minor cosmetic stuff, some paintings, etc. But in general, it's a good, really good property. Uh, the windows are newer. They are not new. They're, they're, they're older for sure, but they're not the originals. Um, and they are uh, a little more energy efficient than what you would get initially. Front bedroom here, smallest of the three bedrooms. Pretty small uh, wood paneling, but no real issue here. The only downside is that's at the front of the house. We have our living room and dining room connected all together here. And the second bedroom right here. Again, the carpet's in decent condition, certainly usable. Um, it, it could use some updating, uh, but nothing that's, you know, too big of an issue, to be honest with you. You can see patchwork and everything on the ceiling um, here and there. Um, but for me, that's more wear and tear stuff, uh, just natural aging and settlement. Nothing that's giving me a real a red flag or, or concern. Our three-piece bathroom, pretty standard. There's really not any storage here. Um, obviously, there's going to be some shelving put in here. If that was a detractor, uh, it would be pretty cheap to do, easy to do. Our kitchen set up here, it's detached. There's a eating area here as well. Um, so this could be used as office, um, certainly extra space, but basically you've got the two eating areas if you wanted it. Not a whole lot of counter space, not a whole lot of cabinet space, but there's room elsewhere to be able to do things with it. It's not bad at all. Again, for a house of this size, you're really not really concerned about it. And then our back bedroom here, Again, same carpet, etc. It could be replaced, but doesn't need to be replaced. In general, it's in good condition. We have our laundry room and maybe mud room storage, etc. Back here, everything is all set up. So, like I said, really pretty good turnkey property. Uh, we do have a detached uh, two-car garage. So there's a garage door here, which you can access from the front of the house. I'll walk around, you can see that. There's also an alleyway here um, that has uh, access another garage door, uh, overhead door like this one. So you could actually not have to worry about coming in off of the main street. So I think that's a big bonus for someone that's concerned about being on Tibbs, which is a pretty busy street. As far as the exterior house is concerned, um, Probably the only thing that really gives me a little bit of pause is this garage. It bows a little bit over here. The roof does have a little bit of concave here. Um, so something you wanna definitely check out, but it's not a really huge uh, concern. We have two different types of siding. We have the original aluminum siding over here and then some updated vinyl siding. Um, both of them are in decent condition, no real worries. When I'm looking at the roof, the shingles are in good shape structure-wise. I'm not seeing anything that's causing me um, real concerns. So again, if you're off of coming off of Tibbs, this right here is a driveway that would take you back to um, the garage here. Obviously, it would have to be a nice little turn, but there's access from the alleyway there. Makes it really nice. We have a fenced-in front yard, which is nice, certainly being on a busy road like this. And really this is probably the only true red flag, if you will, is the fact that we're on Tibbs and it's a busy street near an intersection and everything, but really not a huge concern overall. It means you might not be able to get top of the market for a three bedroom, but you shouldn't have too much of a concern. So take a look at those numbers and let us know what you think. Thanks. Thanks.